A perplexing situation unfolds as the protagonist receives a letter from Mary, his deceased wife. This impossible correspondence creates internal conflict as he grapples with the reality of her death three years prior due to illness. Despite the apparent impossibility, he finds himself drawn to Silent Hill, questioning if Mary could truly be alive and waiting for him in their once shared special place. An encounter occurs with a stranger who provides directions to Silent Hill. The fog-shrouded road creates an eerie atmosphere and the stranger warns of danger lurking in the town. Despite the caution, the protagonist remains determined to proceed, driven by his search for someone important. The stranger reveals a similar quest, looking for family members, highlighting a theme of lost connections and desperate searches. The protagonist enters an unknown location, calling out but receiving no response. The silence amplifies the sense of isolation and mystery. Suddenly, a threatening presence emerges, described as inhuman and reminiscent of a figure glimpsed earlier in the fog. This encounter establishes the supernatural and dangerous elements pervading Silent Hill, setting a tone of constant threat and uncertainty. A memory surfaces of a day spent at a lake park, a poignant reminder of past happiness. This brief recollection provides a stark contrast to the current eerie and threatening environment, emphasizing the loss and longing that drive the protagonist's journey. The narrative shifts to an unexpected encounter with a child in this perilous environment. The presence of a young person in such a dangerous setting adds another layer of mystery and concern to the unfolding story. A tense interaction occurs with Eddie, who is found in a state of panic near a dead body. Eddie vehemently denies involvement in the death. James attempts to calm Eddie, revealing his own search for someone important. This encounter highlights the town's ability to draw troubled individuals and the mounting tension and danger present in Silent Hill. James encounters Angela, another lost soul in Silent Hill. Their conversation reveals Angela's deep despair and sense of deserved punishment. James tries to offer hope, but Angela's pessimism prevails. The exchange touches on themes of guilt, redemption, and the different ways people cope with their past. Angela's knowledge of James's search for Mary adds another layer of mystery to the unfolding narrative. A confrontation occurs with a mysterious little girl who seems to know about Mary. Her taunting behavior and unexpected knowledge add to the surreal and unsettling atmosphere of Silent Hill. This encounter further blurs the line between reality and the supernatural, leaving James increasingly confused and desperate for answers. James reaches a significant location in his search for Mary. The anticipation builds as he calls out to her only to encounter Maria, a woman bearing a striking resemblance to Mary. This meeting introduces a new element of confusion and hope as Maria offers to guide James to a special place that might hold answers. James and Maria journey through Silent Hill, navigating dangerous areas and sharing moments of tension and connection. Their interactions reveal James's conflicted feelings about Mary and his growing bond with Maria. The town's oppressive atmosphere and constant threats underscore the perilous nature of their quest. The journey continues with James and Maria exploring various locations in Silent Hill. They encounter more dangers and mysteries, with Maria providing both comfort and challenge to James's mission. Their relationship grows more complex as they face the horrors of the town together. James and Maria reach their destination, a garden with a tragic local legend. The story of undying love resonates with James's quest, but ultimately leads to disappointment as Mary is not there. This setback deepens James's confusion and despair, highlighting the emotional toll of his journey. James and Maria hear a noise from a theater. James decides to investigate alone, leaving Maria behind. Inside, he encounters Eddie again, adding another layer to the interconnected stories of those drawn to Silent Hill. Eddie is asked if he's alone, and he suggests that a noise is probably just Laura, a little girl, messing around. Another character expresses interest in looking for Laura and invites Eddie to join, though Eddie seems reluctant. The search for Laura begins, with the characters calling out to her and noting that it's dangerous. They encounter Maria, 
who says she saw Laura run by. The group continues their pursuit, eventually catching up to Laura. They try to reassure her that they mean no harm, but she seems distrustful, particularly of one character. The reason for her distrust is unclear. The characters come across a generator and speculate about getting it working to power an elevator. There's a tense moment with some unseen threat, but it passes. The scene shifts to a conversation with Maria, who appears unwell, possibly due to a hangover. She's encouraged to rest while the search for Laura continues. Before leaving, Maria asks a poignant question about what will happen if Mary can't be found, to which there's no clear answer. The scene then transitions to a monologue about three hopeless patients and a determination to cure them through diligence, discipline, and boldness. Laura is finally confronted. She's defensive and angry, accusing someone of lying. She claims to know Mary from the hospital and has a letter for her hidden nearby. When asked to retrieve the letter, Laura tricks the other character into a room and locks them inside, taunting them. The scene then shifts dramatically to what appears to be a surreal game show called Trick or Treat. The contestant, James Sunderland, is asked a series of morbid questions about Silent Hill's history, including a plague, road names, and a gruesome murder. The show ends abruptly, leaving James confused. The scene returns to reality with Maria, who expresses hurt and anger at being left alone and nearly killed. She accuses James of only caring about his dead wife. They decide to continue searching for Laura together. The environment changes, becoming rainy and dark. They come across something disturbing, possibly a corpse. James struggles with a task and Maria unhelpfully comments on his masculinity. They find an odd item, possibly a ring, and decide to find where it belongs. James expresses unease about their surroundings. The scene changes again, with someone calling out in an empty space. A conversation ensues about how things have changed, possibly in Silent Hill. There's mention of a mother who doesn't want to see her child anymore. The dialogue is disjointed and confusing, with references to being happy to see someone alive. A little girl is mentioned again. The scene transitions to an encounter with Angela, who becomes increasingly distressed and hostile, accusing the other character of having ulterior motives. She makes references to past abuse and expresses hatred. The next segment involves an encounter with Eddie, who has apparently shot someone. He gives conflicting accounts of what happened, first claiming self-defense, then admitting the person was already dead when he arrived. The conversation becomes tense as Eddie's story unravels. The scene then shifts back to Angela, who is in a state of extreme distress, pleading and reliving past trauma. A confusing conversation takes place about a stabbing incident. One person claims there was blood everywhere, while the other has no recollection of it. The discussion shifts to a past event at a hotel where a videotape was forgotten. The identity of one participant is unclear, as they claim not to be Mary, but offer to be whoever the other person wants them to be. They express a desire for physical contact and promise to return if the other person changes their mind. An aggressive encounter occurs between two individuals, with one threatening the other. The aggressor, identified as Eddie, expresses self-loathing and anger towards others who have mistreated him. He recounts violent acts against animals and people, justifying his actions as a response to being bullied and discriminated against. Eddie's mental state appears unstable as he threatens James, believing they are similar and that the town has called them both. The situation escalates into a confrontation. The scene shifts to a location that has remained unchanged for three years. A person named Mary is mentioned. A conversation ensues between two individuals, with one admitting to scaring the other and acknowledging their annoying behavior. They discuss plans and the search for Mary, who is believed to be in the area. A letter from Mary is introduced, which was taken from a nurse's locker. The letter is addressed to Laura, expressing Mary's love and explaining her departure to a quiet, beautiful place. The conversation continues, revealing that Laura is eight years old, which contradicts the belief that Mary died three years ago. 
This revelation raises questions about Mary's possible presence in the area. Laura mentions another letter addressed to James, but when the envelope is opened, it's empty. Laura insists she didn't take the letter and leaves to find it. The scene transitions to a video recording of Mary expressing her love for the location, describing it as peaceful and sacred. A confrontation occurs where the truth about Mary's death is revealed. One person admits to killing Mary because she was sick. This confession leads to an emotional outburst from another individual, expressing hatred and disbelief. The scene is filled with grief and regret, with one person apologizing and the other struggling to accept the reality of Mary's absence. The emotional tension builds as they grapple with the loss and its implications. A new character, Angela, is introduced. She initially mistakes someone for her mother but quickly realizes her error. Angela expresses gratitude for earlier help but regrets receiving it, believing she deserved negative experiences. The conversation becomes intense as Angela questions the motives of the other person, wondering if they think they can save her. The scene takes on a surreal quality as Angela perceives the environment as extremely hot while the other person doesn't share this perception. The narrative shifts to a hospital scene where a severely ill person, presumably Mary, is struggling with their condition. They express disgust at their appearance and the effects of their disease and medication. Initially, they push away attempts at comfort, telling the visitor to leave. However, their tone changes dramatically as they plead for the visitor to stay, expressing fear of dying and seeking reassurance. The scene is emotionally charged, highlighting the complexities of terminal illness and its impact on relationships. A poignant interaction unfolds between two individuals, possibly James and a representation of Mary. One expresses a desire to be together forever, while the other struggles with accepting this reality. The conversation reveals internal conflict, with one person trying to move on from the past while the other insists on their presence and value. The scene culminates in a physical confrontation, symbolizing the struggle between holding on to the past and accepting the need to move forward. Mary's voice is heard, offering forgiveness and understanding. James confesses to conflicting emotions, including hatred and a desire for his life back. Mary responds with empathy, acknowledging James's pain. A letter from Mary is read, revealing her thoughts during her illness. She expresses love, fear, and understanding of James's struggles. The letter provides context for their relationship and Mary's emotional journey, ending on a note of enduring love despite the tragic circumstances. Despite the challenges faced, there is a profound sense of gratitude and contentment. The experience, though difficult, is valued deeply and would not be exchanged for anything else in the world. This sentiment reflects a deep appreciation for the journey, regardless of its hardships, and suggests that the struggles encountered have led to personal growth and meaningful insights. The letter concludes with a simple yet powerful statement, you made me happy. This final sentiment encapsulates the essence of the relationship, expressing gratitude and love. It serves as a beautiful closing thought, leaving the reader with a positive affirmation of the joy and fulfillment brought to the writer's life, providing comfort and a lasting memory of their impact.